Good morning, sports fan. Am I on here? <laughs> Good morning, sports fans. Maybe I'm deaf on my left ear. No, I'm, I'm completely I can't hear anything. I forgot to test them out. Yeah. Well, oh, I test them out. It's no there, problem, folks. And we're back. Wow. We're back in. Yeah. Now Jim's Go blaming ahead. us. Oh. Grace, Good morning. Say something. Okay, so the Railer Thon breakfast. Hold on, hang on. Hold on. Let's come in yet. Let's go. Let's go. Nice job. Yeah, I'm it. so ready, too. You okay, have to prepare me. You're good. Okay. okay, well, hi. Hi. We are in the cheap seats, and we're at Ryan Country Financial. <laughs> <laughs> Joe. Gee, this is redo. Oh, boy, I'll tell you what. <laughs> and cut. cut. We're in the intro again. Yeah, well, we'll get right to it. Uh, we have Sydney Johnson <laughs> and Grace Konchek with us this morning. They're from the Children's Miracle Network, and they have a Raider thon coming up, ladies. Right. Uh, explain to Grace, us. you're is going first. You're ready to go. Okay, now, I'm ready. You're on. Put this thing in a little tighter. <laughs> so we have a um, breakfast tomorrow. You guys can come out and support. And where's it at? <laughs> the KFCs. <laughs> From 8 to 11, and we'll be having beverages, coffee, donuts, scrambled eggs, potatoes, biscuits and gravy, and donuts. The tickets, it is uh, $9 for adults, 5 for children, and tykes are free. So come out and support. Nice. How about <laughs> senior citizens? Do they get a discount? You know, what do you think? <laughs> I think they should. Did you get I'm one? Tell you what. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't side up with that. It's not going to pay off later. Oh, okay. The uh, yes, so okay, hey, and then you're gonna lead on into this dance thon thing. Go ahead and give us a little bit about that. Yeah. Um, we'll be having a dance in the middle of March, I believe, and That's we'll be raising money for children's hospitals around our area. Yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> and here comes your leader now. I'm just checking. There in. she is. Got us to come here this morning, bright and early. <laughs> Now, is it true that uh, the reason she's wearing this uh, fancy footwear is because of her dancing, you <laughs> know, working exactly out, getting it. practice, right. getting yeah. warmed up for everything? <laughs> and it, it is a dance of thawing, right? So, who else should be there then? <laughs> uh, well, Jim's, Jim's hold on. not with us, really. Hold on. Just so you know, there's actually wagers going out on this dance a thon on a winner. Really? And, <laughs> and I guess, from what I understand... Here we go. Is that a Sheridan hot? It's 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 a it's a lead pipe lock right there. Danny Sheridan. Yep. Out go. of the USA Today. And Jim, Actually, I believe Shabadoo. there's someone <laughs> I think that Thought will be the know. dance contest that we all have heard of before. That does a good job. He's uh, well known in the community, well, well known uh, on this radio station. Wow, that's terrific. Yeah. <laughs> good one. Yep. Yeah. Hey, we Wikipedia. thought his name might have been Shabadoo, but oh. <laughs> sometimes. Shabadoo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go, Jim. I don't know. He's the he's the, the glue. Uh, he's, he's lucky. He's our boss. <laughs> he's lucky. He's the glue so, that keeps us. So, are we missing anything? I think that sums it up. <laughs> I think we're good to go. Just How, come out and support so, Raylerthon. So, so again, how do you support Raylerthon? How do you make pledges or donations? You can donate money. It got awfully quiet in here. <laughs> it's crazy how, like, there's somebody, like, trying to... And you can find one of the Railerthon members, and we'll have online donations, too. Yeah. And or Mrs. Ryan. Mrs. Ryan. <laughs> and where do you yeah. go online? We have a Facebook page, a Twitter fa Twitter page, and an Instagram page. The password yeah. is... <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite color? <laughs> Seven. <laughs> okay, so we can go to Facebook, Twitter, all the above, find mm -hmm. out information, and a breakfast tomorrow. And when is the Rather-a-thon? March. 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 The whole month of March? The whole month. <laughs> well, uh, from March. what I understand, how Shabadoo dances. Yeah, it's take four <laughs> it will weeks. take it a while. It takes four weeks <laughs> to recover. Shabadoo. <laughs> all right. N new subject. <laughs> all right. All right, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thanks, for thanks for having us. for all of your yeah. knowledge. We appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. And now we're going to bring next on the show. Tell them who's coming up next. Start the drum roll. Okay. Drum roll. Yeah. Look at him. Ready to go. Thanks, ladies. Thank you. Thank Have you. a wonderful day. All right. And now, as soon as he finishes his muffin, he's eating a muffin. Coming to the give microphone. The man, give him the man some time here. Look at him. Had a big week. He's been working out. Big week. He looks good. It's been so big. All right. Here he we go. looks good. Look at him come across that. The stage, I call it. The, the stage. stage. The stage of wire. He here crossed every the, one of those cords. The Joe Ryan Sports Complex. Do we have another headset? Uh, you got it over there. Do we need to pass it? Pass a. Uh, here, here. Yeah, just do that. 
Boy. Very you know what? Oh, we were here good. early, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> confusion started. Well, it's because Jim didn't do a sound check. <laughs> you guys mix all the microphones up. I don't, yeah. I don't. And we're Chaos. back. We are back. Let's turn that thing off right there. And yeah. right now, we do have Coach Alexander with us this morning. Good morning, Coach. Good morning. Uh, the Railers back on winning track after last night's victory over Springfield. Uh, we didn't have you on last week. Uh, talked a little bit about the holiday tournament. Uh, went in the first game, beat Urbana. And then uh, the second day went against a very good Edwardsville team, a uh, 4A team that uh, they shut our shooters down, but we had some other kids step up and we kept that game close. Well, that was a game that uh, you're playing a high-powered offense and, uh, you know, we uh, <clears throat> we made the game pretty boring, which is what, you know, if you want a chance to win, I did everything. I thought the kids executed our game plan perfectly against Edwardsville, but uh, <clears throat> they played... Uh, McClure North the game before us and they uh, they were down 21 18 they were just kind of messing around and all of a sudden they had another gear and then within about a minute 30 it was 40 to 21 so they could score a lot of points real quick so what you have to do is limit their uh, 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 opportunities if they don't have the ball they can't score a lot of points and they were running uh, a triangle inverted triangle in two and that left our kids open so uh, three kids open so we were able to uh, be able to be very selective on our shots. Edwardsville, uh, they had all areas covered. They had their point guards being recruited by Illinois, Mark Smith, and then their big guy down low, 6'6", 250, <laughs> uh, one of the top defensive ends in the nation, going to Iowa. You'll see him in the NFL here in about three or four years. Uh, just a beast, and they just had every area covered, and that's a team that I would be surprised if you don't see them in Peoria in March. Well, the, the, that's true, but one thing they'll have to do is probably go through Simeon in the yeah. super, super sectional because of the way the IHSA aligns them, and I still haven't figured out why Chicago comes to, uh, well, I know why, uh, but uh, you, you know, why they come down this way to play a southern school to be able to right. to keep all the schools up north, and uh, you know, I <clears throat> uh, they drive by one super sectional to get to this one, and it's just mind-boggling on how they uh, well, you would uh, line that up. You would think the IHSA would see that and get some more southern schools involved because now it's just everything above I-80 is, you know, you should just have their own well, tournament back, right back there. Well, back when you had the 2A or 2-class system, you had all areas of the state represented in the, the state finals. Uh, so at least some part of the, you know, every part of the state had somebody to pull for. And now then you get to the 4A, you may not have anybody south of I-80. And, right. uh, um, you know, it, it's <coughs> kind of tough to stay interested in the, in the get tournament. <coughs> Uh, we followed up the next two games. Oh, you got something. No, I was going to say, with, with the tournament, do you like this or do you – I mean, you have a few years now to get used to it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? The, the, the more classes than there used to be. Well, it's not going to change. Uh, we all know that. <laughs> uh, and they're not going back to two. Uh, but they still they, – they've made a slight adjustment on the, the regional. It's now a subsectional instead of having just four teams thrown into a regional. And those four teams could be your top regionals or teams in the sectional. But they have divided it down to cut it in half but they need to make one more step and take it back to the old original format where you seat all the tournament or all the teams in in the sectional <coughs> and then play it out that way but right now half the st state plays by a subsectional rule and the other half plays by the old uh, format and I think that's what really has people <coughs> Uh, you know, really upset that you have the, a, a tournament, but you have two formats within the tournament. I understand. Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool when it was just those two classes. I thought that was. It, it is cool now too. I mean, obviously, it, it, well, it, it, it's they say it meant a little more back then. I mean, obviously, it means a lot now. But well, just, well, just now think, it's think right now. Can you think of who won the the state uh, championships last year? No. <laughs> No. <laughs> Nobody knows how important is it. Uh, well, <laughs> true, but uh, to that school it's important. Yeah. <laughs> they remember of that. They remember They're it. remembering it. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, after that Ed Edwardsville game, Coach, it just seemed like uh, it carried over to our next two games. Uh, we Our offense was just kind of – it wasn't there. We lose to two Central State 8 teams and, you know, an Eisenhower team that's really improved. And uh, – and then we follow up with the loss against uh, who was the last night? MacArthur. MacArthur. Uh, 
two games that I feel that we could have won. It was just our offense just seemed like it carried over from that Edward, Edwardsville game. Just couldn't get. Well, we were very sluggish, and and that's one of the the poorest tournaments that we've played. Uh, are showing in the tournament, and uh, you know, we uh, uh, we have trouble scoring. Uh, but uh, the other thing was, I didn't think our intensity, our effort was there, and that's that. What that is what we have to have to stay in basketball games, and it wasn't there. And I thought last night we played with a little more intensity, and uh, uh, you know, down at Lanfair we had some intensity, and <clears throat> despite getting beat by 16 down there, you know, it was a seven, eight point ball game until the end. When when, when you have to go chase them, they're going to score a lot of points. <laughs> right, and well, back to the Collinsville game, that the tournament was loaded. It was probably one of the <laughs> toughest tournaments I've ever seen where you got the Tillman kid from East St. Louis and you got Smith and uh, the other kid from Edwardsville. Uh, who was the other? Javon Pickett Javon from, Pickett uh, from Belleville East Belleville is going East. to Illinois. And, and, and there, there was some good teams. And Quincy, uh, you know, at that time when we started the tournament, we were were eight and one. Quincy was eight and one, and and we were the seventh and eighth seed. Uh, so that there is tells you the the caliber of, of teams that we had down there. And and then I'll, I'll obviously Belleville off top with good one and that whole crew. So a tough tournament. Uh, some good experience but then we like you said we follow up last tuesday against the lamphere team that uh number one in state in 3a and you know they play a different an up pace and i just kind of have some issues with some of the th i mean they get away with a lot of stuff that's <laughs> well, not that's not you tell us about your issues is, is, is it that or is there well, speed covered well up? speed but then that speed also covers it up but you also they start out beating you up and the officials get tired of covering it by the end of the game they got their ball bats out and, yeah and uh you know if they'd continue just to call it and make it a game uh but but you know if you're going to the state tournament that's how aggressive the tournament gets so um that that's what you got to see and then uh moving on to last night coach uh, go down to springfield uh the kids they need to get back on that winning track and the no better team to do it than a Springfield team, an improved Springfield team than we saw the first time we played them. Uh, came out, hit some shots, and had some other kids kind of step up. The sophomore holiday had a huge game uh, stepping in there because Drew Bacon's hurt. Uh, Grunder got in foul trouble early on, and our bench isn't real deep for the, the big guys. So I thought he stepped up and played really well. Yeah, you know, the problem with Lincoln is we got everybody six foot, six one across the board. And for a school of 850 students, it's unbelievable that we can't find a bunch of six four, six five kids. But um, they're, they're just not out there. And, uh, you know, uh, Drew Bacon is injured. He's got a pulled muscle in his back, uh, who I thought played probably his best game of the year against Lamphere uh -huh. on Tuesday night. And, uh, you know, he attacked the basket. Uh, uh, he got some rebounds, and you know, it's, and then at the end of the game, he gets hurt. Now he's got to miss a couple. We hope a couple. Um, we hope that he's kind of moving back in next week. But uh, uh, then we've we've had a lot of sickness, and um, you know, Nolan Hollinger's got bronchitis. Uh, uh, you know, Bryson was at uh, school uh, or at the doctor. Uh, Thursday, uh, Isaiah Bowers is not feeling well, but they fought through it last night, and uh, you know uh, we got a lot of things to work on. But that's why you you play the teams that, to show you here's what you got to do to be pretty good at the end of the year. Well, you talk about big guys, coach, and one big guy that is drawing a lot of attention right now, and anxious to see how he progresses is Jermaine, and your your sophomore. He's what six eight, and yeah. and just really started playing basketball last year, and you'd watch him last night, and he's starting to get it, and you know he's just still learning the system but uh, that kid's got some huge upside it from from a year ago when we started uh, you know back in November a year ago up until this point he's made great strides uh, um, he's getting some skills uh, the games you know put him in a varsity game the varsity game's still too quick for him but uh, as he grows into that body and I, I don't think Jermaine's done growing no. uh, he, he looks like he could grow a lot more but uh, he's going to start filling out and uh, you you know, he's going to be a, a really, really good player. Yeah, he just has that presence underneath <clears throat> where 
it's hard to go to the rim just because of his length. And, you know, he had a couple of dunks last night. One of them he missed. And, but that's what you want to see down there. He gets the ball down low and aggressive to the hoop, and he's still raw. I, th- I think he's fun to watch. He's he's fun he to he watch. adds a whole different dimension when he comes in in the paint, yeah. you know, with all his arms everywhere. And uh, it reminds me of Norman. Yep. He's, uh, I didn't see Norman play, but I saw Brian play. And yeah, sure. he's still got the same. Uh, at, at this point, comparing him with Brian, Brian was much more skilled. Sure. At this point in time, but uh, Brian also played for since he was little bitty ball, and Jermaine just started a year ago. So, uh, give him three or four years, and uh, we're hoping next year uh, he'll make so much, uh, a lot of ground that that uh, nobody will want to go in the paint. He's going to alter shots, that's for sure. When yeah. you get down in there, get a little Absolutely. aggressiveness and some meanness in him. He just seems like he's just he's really an easy going really kid, timid, and, uh, and really soft spoken. Maybe he should hang around with us for a little bit. Huh? <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> then, mean. then he no. just become fat and lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> so, Wrong. You do not want to do that. Uh, Coach, we got a game tonight against Jerseyville at home. Uh, tell us a little bit about Jerseyville. Uh, not really uh, – don't know a whole lot about them on, on this end here, but we don't know a whole lot of anything. <laughs> you know, they're, they're about you an average basketball team. Uh, they are uh, – they're going to play us some man. Um, we really haven't. Uh, I think that's what the coaches are doing right now is looking at things and, um, you know, trying to figure out. Uh, uh, we have not seen them in person. We do have tapes on them. So we'll spend a lot of time this morning watching film and, and preparing for them. So um, it'll be a good game. They're very competitive. They've got a very competitive coach. Uh, they all play with a lot of fire. So. Uh, you know, and, and our guys, uh, you know, I think we can beat anybody, but we can also lose to anybody. So if we're not on our game, uh, you know, we could have a, uh, you know, we could get beat. Coming right into the, the heart of the season now, Coach, uh, after the holiday season now, it's every weekend you got a game Friday, Saturday. Uh, really getting into the conference now. Uh, obviously, Lanfear leading the conference, uh, followed by Southeast, and then an Eisenhower. So it's just not going to get any easier, uh, you know, for February, January, February, into March. No, and you know we've got, uh, you know, right now we're halfway. We're ten and five, and that's fifteen games, and and so forth. So we're halfway, but here in the next uh, uh, three weeks, we'll be. We only have a handful of games left after this month of January is over. So uh, we do have a lot of basketball games. We've got the Central State 8 non-city tournament uh, that starts next Saturday or Friday where we go to, to Chatham. It's not a true, you know, it's, it's the format is good. Uh, because uh, the tournament allows our sophomores to continue to play. Uh, two or three years ago, our sophomores had a 19-day layoff in Ooh. January, yeah. and that's not good for, for development of young kids. And to ask them to practice for almost three weeks without a game is really, really tough. And uh, their schedule was not very good this year. Uh, well, they only had three games before Christmas, and, you know, they played Thursday, Friday, Saturday. They'll play uh, – Friday, Saturday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. So the sophomores are uh, going to get a lot of basketball, but what that does is destroys our practice time. <laughs> Coach, we've been in the, the Central State 8 for 20-some <clears throat> years. How uh, how are you going about, and how, how are your feelings towards you're going to some of these schools for the last time? I know Lanphier was uh, the other night, which you'll the last time you'll be playing there, uh, regular season anyway, <clears throat> and then – Springfield last night. I know you're getting a lot of recognitions and a lot of respect from these schools, and they they see what you've done, and they're going to miss Lincoln and the Central State Eight, no doubt. I think so. I, we had a dimension to it uh, uh, the, that uh, you know it's a different kind of game. Uh, you know, you play the city tournament. You want to. They're going to run and jump and press, and we're going to be very controlling and so forth. And uh, they're going to miss that, but we're going to miss them. Uh, myself. Uh, you know, when you've been in something, uh, I've been here 26 years, and 24 of them years have been in the Central State Eight, and you get to know those guys, and they're like brothers, and mm-hmm. the coaching fraternity is a close, you know, close-knit group, and um, it, it's going to be, you know, it, it's tough saying that this is our last time of playing Springfield, uh, Southeast, Lanphier. Uh, and so forth. We are trying to keep as many on our schedule, but with the the format that they follow, the double round robin and conference play, that doesn't allow us to do that. Uh, the Springfield schools only have one non-conference game. Um, most of them want to keep it open to where they can go 
to showcases and things like that. So, uh, you know, if we're ever going to play, and we will play them in uh, the end of February, and uh, those are the teams that you're going to have to beat to, to get to the, uh, uh, you know, the state tournament. I saw where uh, Governor Rauner wanted to come in and get a picture with you uh, uh, last night. That, it, it wasn't around very long, was he? <laughs> he uh, I think he was there. I, I know he's there at least the first quarter, but it was kind of neat seeing him in there with his, his uh, Secret Service guys. Entourage. I could probably could have taken a couple of them. You <laughs> take them to the Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> like, like no, it was kind of neat. Taking uh, Chick -fil -A I tell you, that our thinking? fans were, you know, we don't see a whole lot of that, and our fans were pretty excited down there getting the, their picture taken with him and you know just uh it's not uh it's not a voting season is it it's close <laughs> don't you know that it's always a voting season so yeah that was pretty neat uh you guys have anything else it feels like um a one-man show here Go oh on. yeah i thought Jake, you did a good right. job you've been, I, I didn't good. go to the tournament i couldn't yeah. talk about any of those games so well, you know. yeah we know they were asking for you in the hospital well, they told me i couldn't go anymore so i <laughs> didn't go i think they were throwing food away like they, man where's that guy from last year he prairie farms <laughs> called want to know where i was <laughs> you are a milker that's post, sure. post game drink <laughs> <laughs> well i see they added fruit punch this year well, we didn't get it in the locker room well bryson had one he had a fruit punch oh did he yeah he I must mean, have bought it it, it's that chocolate that. milk that's good. After good a chocolate game? milk in that locker room? Chocolate chocolate milk, white milk. Oh, that chocolate milk's good. <laughs> Prairie Farms, good stuff. Don't look at me and laugh. After a game, Funny that's boy. good? Yeah, anytime. Uh, okay. Coach, good luck tonight. Uh, hopefully they'll fill the house. It's been a while since we've had a Railer home game, hasn't it? Seven yeah, or, we, no, no, 22nd. We, had, 22nd, those, yeah. we had those two games that were uh, rescheduled. Yeah, rescheduled. So. yeah, just kind of a... Uh, messed up uh, holiday season that's kind of threw us all off well coach congratulate or congratulations good luck tonight a uh, the fresh off starts at six six o'clock it's a normal starting time we got a lot of basketball going on at the school today our freshmen are playing at 10 this morning followed by the girls this afternoon and the boys uh uh, play tonight so we didn't want to you know our normal time we could have ran into uh, you know delays and things and we didn't want to do that so uh, basically uh, Mr. Knox had that set up I didn't have that time set up so we just stuck right with it well you got to clear the gym so to get some more of that gate admission so you don't want to <laughs> stick around yeah. Yeah. Hi, Jake. hey I'd stick around the whole day it's all about gate so, and we do have junior railers at halftime too of the sophomore game so get on out there and uh, root on your railers and I think we have Coach Richmond here right she out there somewhere alright well we're going to take a commercial break we'll come back we'll talk with the girls high school basketball coach Taylor Richmond so stay tuned we'll be back after these messages Joe's music right here. I was expecting it. Back in the 1920s, was it? Name that song, Libby. Uh, I know that song. Wait for I it. can't throw that out. I can't win that one. No, you can't. All right. Welcome no. back to the Cheap Seats on 96.3 FM. We are online at WLCNOnline.com, and you can follow us on Twitter at WLCN Sports. Joe Ryan. What did you get Jake quiet? Austin. <laughs> well, then we, I we, you had a we totally here, screwed that up at the beginning, <laughs> so we had to get it in there. We are at Joe Ryan Country Financial. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to your office, Joe. Sports Thanks Southwest. again. I know it's been a while since you've been in here. Uh I like what they've done to the place. <laughs> hey, we've got heat. We've got heat and lights. And a thanks goes out to the Gazardos. New heat system in here. Wow. Hey, there's, a new sign. there's a new sign. We used here. to freeze in here. I don't know. You if know you what he should have done? Just ran a pipeline from his kitchen to here and you That's get some free heat. I smell that pipeline of food every yeah, day. We, Look at yeah, it. Yeah, we can see. Look at it. All right, right I now we do have the Lincoln Lady Railers basketball coach, Taylor Richmond, along with a couple of her seniors. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Uh, if you want to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Haley Williams. I'm Laura Fox. Something's Some, cutting out. Uh, wait. Okay, she said she's back. Haley Hi, Williams, again. and she said the she's Queen Haley Fox. Williams. Yeah, the Queen of the Court. Is it? Which one's cutting out? Okay, the wireless. Well, I oh, can't count on this technology. You can't count. That's why I said, Jim. You don't never Jim? go wireless. <laughs> Always have a wireless Always next to it. Wire. What's one more cord gonna hurt, Jim? That's right. <laughs> All right, uh, Coach Richmond. How you doing? Good. How are you? We're doing great. Uh, 
Tell us a little bit about what's going on since the last time we've uh, talked to you. I know you had a big tournament in Peoria over the holidays, and now you're just practicing and a huge game today. So just kind of fill us in what's going on. Um, we went 2-2 two and two up at uh, Peoria Manual. Um, competed against uh, Peoria Notre Dame. Um, came up short in that one, and then came up short against Dunlap. But then we turned it around the next day, and uh, we beat Lanfear. And then we beat East Peoria, uh, played two real good games, so that was a lot of fun. Um, and then today, after a week of practice, we have Springfield High, and they're a great team, um, one of the top teams in our conference. So. And you played them earlier in the season, we which did. they're a 4A team. They are. And uh, held with them for a little bit, and then kind of turnovers got the best of us. And Yeah, we, um, we, we hung with them until about three minutes left to go in the third, and um, we were, it was 20-27, and then um, the game just kind of got away from us a little bit. They turned up the pressure and um, had a few turnovers, couldn't complete a few shots. So, unfortunately, that one didn't go our way. But we've prepared for them all week, and um, I think we're ready to come out and play today. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah? What's, uh, what time's the game? 2.30. 2.30, and do you have a JV game before that? We do. So, one? Yes. Yes. One? You sure? Yes, I'm okay. positive. <laughs> <laughs> so JV kicks off at one, and then uh, two thirty the high school. Uh, so let's get on out there, fill up the gym because I mean the girls know that if there's a packed gym, they're gonna kick it up a notch. And absolutely, let's go out and beat the snot out of the senators. What do you think, Joe? I think so. And you know, from the games I've been to, which I haven't been to all of them, but the ones I've been to, it, the, the the tenacious defense is still there. We are still scrambling all over the court. Absolutely. And then all of a sudden, the shots won't go down. <laughs> and I know we practice shooting, don't we, ladies? Back yes. back me up on this. It, it just it seems like on a lot of the games I was at, the ball just bounced around the rim. No, no. And then they were getting a lot of the rebounds. We were yep. getting second chances, and they were. Absolutely. And then it all goes wrong. Yep. So uh, I really thought we played well. Shots just didn't go down. I agree. Can I agree. Can you explain to us how you run your ball court press? <laughs> And have you ever taken a shot from the line of scrimmage? Yeah, okay, so I said one you thing. You do a lot of shots from the line of scrimmage <laughs> as far as your free throws. See how they pick that's, on me up here? big girls. They have lots of drills for them. I did say line of scrimmage at the free throw line in your game one time. See, you guys didn't even know it. No. You said some other things, too. Which <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was the one thing I said moving football, along. Football, basketball combined, Yeah, huh? yeah. <laughs> Creating like a, a new game. It's like a football bat. There's really no need for it. And, now, and do you teach a head fake? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of head fakes there's that go on in the game. Yeah. Yeah. There it's are important. a lot of head fakes. You the ball is yeah. supposed to go with that. Sometimes you really, sometimes that's right. you really should watch replays of your <laughs> games because we have the two best announcers. No, yeah. ever. never we watch never them Ever. Let's watch. move along to some of the kids that came out today. Uh, oh, How really? About that? Let's <laughs> move along, he says. Yeah. Let's move along. Uh, ladies, tell us about yourselves. Haley, you're the reigning queen, right? Yes. Well, that's a big deal. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'm pumped <laughs> up about it. Do they call you the queen or no? No. Just me? Yeah. <laughs> During <laughs> practice, do you wear a crown or anything? No. Or? Oh. No. Hmm. No? What's what's the highlight of the season this year? Highlight of the season? I don't know. I just like being with the team. It's just a lot of fun. Because they're fun girls? Yeah. Right? Right. Is your partner here, Lauren, is she any fun? Oh, yeah. She cracks she me is. up. She does? Mm -hmm. All right, so tell us a little about the season. How, what do you think? How are you doing? How I you mean, doing? last year we didn't start as well either, so, like, I'm not, like, worried about this year because, like, we haven't had the best start, but, like, I think with each game we, like, improve. So as long as we keep improving, we'll do fine. And you just need to be ready tournament time. Yep. I mean, we talk about it all the time. The wins and losses don't matter when the tournament starts. Yep. Does it? So, real quick, Coach. <laughs> it just came to me. She said it's a lot of fun. After there was a a game maybe earlier in the season that there may have been a couple extra turnovers than you're used to. Do you think they thought it was a lot of fun the next practice? I'm going to guess not. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> just wonder, just I wonder think that they, they make the fun between themselves <laughs> and, you know, that team bonding and, you know, just really having that camaraderie. But at practice, there are times that it's not as much fun. Um, but there are times that it is fun. You know, we have our moments where it's a good time and we have our moments where 
they might not be too happy. So I think that's the way most practices probably go throughout, sure, you know, yeah. the state or the country. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. you know, you're, you're, it's supposed to be fun, but it's also supposed to be serious. I Absolutely. Mean, as long as you're winning, you can have fun. But if you're not, you better be serious. Yep. And but the yeah, bus rides like, on the like way home are well, more fun if you win. It's yeah. like you guys that said. That's very true. <laughs> last year, you guys didn't get off to the greatest start, but you want to be playing your best basketball when it counts, and that's the end of the season. And Coach talked a little earlier that you guys have faced – your toughest opponents at the beginning where you're still kind of gelling together and mm -hmm. learning the system and you know going through things where you know once you get down to the the I wouldn't I was gonna say, say we're hit or we're hitting the heart of the yeah. season now so, so like we were saying yeah. earlier and it's all about confidence you guys yeah. know you can do it as you know it, it's evident from last year's run where you guys know you can be there it's probably a little frustrating you're not where you want to be now but you just got to stick with it and Absolutely. no doubt in my mind that when the you know end of the season here you're going to be right back there i um you know last year i think it took until our second game against southeast to really have that um that knowledge of each other on the floor and knowing what everybody was capable of and so I think that that really is our goal is to continue to improve every day and get better and you know come February to be where we want to be and you see moments of that I think in all of our games where the girls you see it the flashes of wow okay this is coming this is coming it's gonna it's gonna happen um, it's just a matter of putting four quarters together and doing it every second of the game and we haven't made it there yet but I I don't doubt that we will I think so too. Lauren, we haven't uh, heard from you yet. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Tell us about the season. Um, I mean, last year we were fortunate enough to play some of the easier teams in the beginning, so we had more time to gel for like the big games like Rochester and SHG and Springfield. You know, we had like a lot of time to prepare for them, and this year we hit them right out of the gate, and there was a huge target on our backs, especially right. knocking out Rochester and. Um, so they came full force at us and I don't think we were quite ready and so it's taken us a little longer to get back in the swing of things but hopefully it all works together some mean <laughs> girls out there aren't there it gets pretty aggressive it gets pretty tough down in the post um, yeah it's tough but I mean, I have respect for all of them. They're hard workers, hard players. So that's good. Now, last night I sat around the brickyard and watched uh, your brother play. Well, yeah, huge win fun. over Kent State. That was it was a big pretty win. awesome. Yeah. The uh, you're probably sick of talking about him, aren't you? <laughs> I think you're the better basketball player. Oh, really. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I don't know about that. Anyone ever says it, but I think so. <laughs> they don't really talk about it. You're. Uh, what are you looking forward to then this season? Um, I'm hoping to get back where we were last year. Honestly, uh, it's gonna be. A lot of hard work and we're gonna have to change a few things but I think we can make it back there attitudes yeah we got some attitudes we got to change some attitudes yeah, see there you go we oh, got to we gotta change it all that was an easy word right. to say when you're coaching we gotta have some attitude change now as right. being seniors two seniors on the team that's your responsibility right to go out there and say right. hey, take control and change have an attitude adjustment right Jake kind of like us with you yes <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. me and Haley try and keep everything pretty light on the floor. Um, yeah. We leave it to the coaches to do like the real reprimanding and you know having talks with them about hey change your attitude. So we'll let them do their job and me and Haley just try and keep it light on the floor and have fun with the girls. Yeah, because it's it is supposed to be fun. Yeah, so but every get, once in a while we remind them. You want to give a shout out to anybody out there? Um, Sing a song. Shout out to my family. You know, yeah. Big G, you might be listening this morning. Hey, you don't know. if you're listening, Gavin. Great game. Yeah. Love you. Good job. <laughs> He's not listening. And what song are they you're singing? Today? If you're not listening, I'm mad at you because you said you were going to listen. Oh, I guarantee he's listening. Okay. Phone lines are open if you want to call in. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see if he's listening. And the number is 737-3791. All right. Feel free to call in here, Gavin Block. Gavin, if he calls, we'll, we'll uh, he could win a couple of tickets, right, to the tonight's yeah, Tuesday night's okay. basketball game. <laughs> hey, we do ago. we do have a couple of tickets. If you want to call in and say, hey, I want those tickets, you can <laughs> call in and say, hey, I want those tickets. Get, get, or give us a color. Yeah. Two tickets tonight to the game, 737-3791. Uh, there you go. Haley, tell us a little bit. You want to give a shout out, sing a song, something? Um, I'll give a shout out to my family, I guess. And right. what song will you guys be singing? No song. You can, it's sing, a duet. You can sing a song. You can sing a song. How about Lincoln Lincoln or something? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a duet. Go ahead. It's called. What do they sing on the no, bus? Nobody's listening on the bus. <laughs> that's that's Froby. That's definitely Froby. Yeah. Oh. Froby's well, not here. She could lead the singing. Mixtape. 
Yeah. <laughs> Roby has a mixtape and it's wonderful, <laughs> and you guys should hear it sometime. It well, should be broadcasted. Well, maybe we'll bring it up here. Yeah. All right, yeah, you should. Is it appropriate? Oh, yeah, she sings yeah. like Party in the USA. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, also, I it's want your okay. Plugs. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Right. Our also. ears will bleed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, bring That's it good. in. We, we we put anything on there, right, Jay? <laughs> well, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> so, coach, today back to you. Today, uh, let's pull off a big W, right? Absolutely. This would be a big win. It would be a big win. It, or is it Springfield leading the conference, or are we? Is it Rochester? Springfield and Rochester. They're both. Are they? Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I don't. I don't think they've played one another yet. So well, it's pretty late to not have played yet. Well, huh? we haven't played Glenwood or yeah, there's Eisenhower a lot of games left, Joe. MacArthur, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, good luck today. We'll, we'll be out there, you know. WLCN will be out there. Uh, probably two of the best <laughs> announcers <laughs> in this room. They don't call you the best we'll be color man in the business for nothing. I'm going to tell you what, they call us a lot of things, and sometimes we're right, and most of the time we're wrong. But thanks for coming in. Yeah, That's it. You guys aren't going to sing? Nah, we'll no, that's a Nothing. All right, well, and yeah, nobody Wait drinks coffee. It. I can't believe it. <laughs> okay. All right, ladies, thanks for coming in. Good luck today. Let's Thank pack you. the gym and uh, go out and beat some senators. That's yeah, all W's across the board that's at right. Roy S. Anderson today. Absolutely. All, du- all W's. No. All right. Absolutely. I'm holding you guys to that. Okay. Lots of games today. That's right. Good, Good stuff. You got nothing. Mm-hmm. All right, well, uh, we're going to take a commercial break. We come back. We're going to talk. I don't know about something, so stay tuned. You're on the cheap seats, 96.3 <laughs> FM. You don't have to hit me in the eye with that pen. I'm but sorry. You impress me. I was trying to use your bills. I am. Hey, impress me. Play this with the drums. <laughs> Surprise you Welcome know that back to the cheap seats. <laughs> and they're very inexpensive. They're very yeah, inexpensive. they're darn near free. Darn uh, like Joe Ryan, Jake Johnson, Lloyd Kirby, and Jim Ash. Kind of like the inventory you. reduction sale, Jake's furnishing. Under the tent, yeah. Still going on, by the way. Still going on. I tell you what, it's hard on my employees to uh, have to deal with that. Right. Oh, week yeah. after week. Jim's checking the clock. Uh, speaking of the regular basketball uh, game last night, last night was Jeff Benjamin's 500th game as broadcasting regular basketball. So congratulations to him. Well, Jeff Benjamin. And Standing that's, ovation yeah. here. And I, I, am, I was told that he's kind of under the weather, so he got his 500th game last night. Who did uh, he room with at Collins? Not was? feeling so well, and it's probably carrying over a little bit today, but uh, I'm sure he'll be there, and everything will be just hunky-dory. Jeff Benjamin, 500 games. That's a lot. How many games is that a season? Uh, <laughs> Ten. 50 seasons. I don't know why I bother. <laughs> All right. Well, here's what we're going to do yeah, right tell now. Tell me how many, game, how many seasons. I just I want to <laughs> hear it, so we're going to do it, and it's everybody's favorite segment but mine. Everybody. It used to be great. It used to be great. Now it's just don't talk to me. Here we go. Yep, there it is. It's time now here on Cheap Seats for our crew to take their hats off as they recognize achievements of teams and athletes who've done well. Our crew members are prepared because they always do their homework. They would even be ready if this theme song would just stop cold. And listen to us right back on the air. Do 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 right, my hat's off. Well, my hat's off. Going to go to Jeff Benjamin. 500 games as a broadcaster. That's a pretty big accomplishment. Absolutely. Have you ever done anything 500 times? Oh, push-ups in a row. 500. Dips. Close to 500. Pull-ups. You've probably had sit-ups. 500. I mean, how many things do you want to know? Why? <laughs> There's no That's reason. That's the end of the song. Yeah. Oh, it was? Yeah. It was a delay. It was just quiet. Oh, like a, a two-minute delay? Did you fall asleep? or It sounded yeah. like you were running out of breath there. Yeah, it was. Shabba. Dabba doo. It's I tell even. you what, that dance contest, oh, yeah. you are odds on favor for that one. Darn skinny. Danny Sheridan has you two to one favor. Two to one? Two to one? Yeah. Two to one? Oh, two to one. 
You gonna put a thousand down on me? Probably. All right. Yeah. Do you guys have any? Or five hundred. Five hundred. Five hundred. Another five hundred out there. Yep. Shots out. Uh, hats off. Anything? Hats off, Gavin Block. Excellent ball game last night. Nice job, G Block. You got, got one? Nothing. You got well I'll tell you what. That's, that's exactly what you if this was a buffet yeah. dinner, that's exactly what you'd bring to the table. A that's plate, exactly nothing on it. Nothing on it. <laughs> yep. Maybe if you would get up in the morning and prepare instead of doing other things like I don't know what you do. Yeah, what do you do in the morning? Can you tell us? <laughs> Order no. furniture. Like when you get up early, what do you it, do? You know, it's a process. How long does it take you to wake up? Like an hour and a half? About an hour and maybe two hours. Two hours? Yeah. Boy, hour and a half, I would say solid. Solid, solid. Yeah. Just uh, drinking coffee and yeah, flipping pancakes, cakes. I do like cakes. Cakes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You got something else there? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna talk about this, man. Um. Well, I got All an right. itinerary right here. Go ahead. <laughs> look, <laughs> look at the itinerary. Hey, hey, real quick. Do not go off this. Yeah. Okay. You I don't know if you saw the top. This. That's a legal pad. Yeah. <laughs> Stay legal. focused. <laughs> that is a legal pad. With, and there's crayons on that. Go ahead. Where are you at now? <laughs> well, I was going to mention, I mean, the girls are having a, a, a fundraiser coming up this the 22nd. The girls' basketball team? Yeah. All right. Uh, they're going to have a pancake breakfast at the KC's uh, January 22nd. I went to that last year. It was awesome. I haven't been to one bad one yet. They, well, that's a good point. They had the little bake sale thing set up yeah. there, too. Yeah. Loved yeah. it. Well, actually, I, yeah, we I did love it. We were going as a crew, and then... And the, oh, yeah, that's we right. were there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's all bring it back. Oh, yeah. That's he was right. there before. Yeah. You know what? With, with his and then, buddies. With his buddies. And then it's stick around. It's Joe's fault again. Yeah. It's always. Boy. I mean. Yeah. The, the it, bake sale. I tell you what. My kids rated that bake sale. Yeah, they did. I think you probably dropped, dropped at least 100 bucks. You know, you would have thought that, but the prices deals, were yeah. like. Yeah, they were all over. They were that. really good buys, I'm just going to say. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, get on out there and I'm bake sure. sale reduction. Why not? We'll do her again. I mean, <laughs> they were having an inventory reduction at the bake sale. On cake. <laughs> Another inventory reduction inventory sale reduction. going on. Yeah. It was good stuff. All Holy right. Hell. Okay, that's yeah. uh, that's my itineraries covered. So, what day was that again? The 22nd. The 22nd. Okay. That's a Sunday. Nights of Columbus. Yeah. Nights of Columbus. Uh, you, they usually start around 7, I'd say. We'll say seven. <laughs> say seven. You know what? I guess we didn't. <laughs> We're just going to make up times with that. Tweet. <laughs> well, Lloyd's going to tweet it, and so that makes it official. And then once see. it's official, they have to go by our time. The price per ticket, we'll say yes. eight bucks, I, nine well, bucks. Am I wrong, or did they go by donation last year? Well, I mean, it's... Yeah, you're wrong. Am I wrong? wrong. You're wrong. 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 Because if it was the Russians, he would. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> just like, here's just, a corner. Was, yeah. <laughs> I went by how much I was going to eat. Fools. <laughs> here's a need corner. One. So it should have been about $30. 30 bucks no. or so. Yeah. Oh, boy. I've, I saw you walk up to that table at least five times. Yo, you quit now. And when they walked around saying, do you want more I pancakes? Talked to your mom. You I talked to your deny. mom last weekend, and I know you were raised better than to come out here and say stuff like that. I know you were. Yeah, and I did she get the soap well. out? Because she yeah. said she's getting the soap out. I, there should uh, be that's blisters. That's, that's a fact. There should be blisters in your mouth right now from that soapy wash you had last Saturday. <laughs> yeah, she was very... I don't, I don't know what you guys She was very about. disappointed in her jakey poo. <laughs> <laughs> the, hey, now I'm going to tell you guys a little stat here. I'm going to jump over here to the college football. All right, jump, I just thought jump. this was kind of interesting. Well, why is that all highlighted? Well, because, well, because these are the teams I want to tell you about. The black oh. against the white. This, these are the teams I want to tell you about. Okay. The, the USA Today put a little uh, thing out in the paper that the cost per victory, based on the head assistant coaches and strength coaches for all of these D1 schools, just what it was costing them per victory. Okay. So if you looked at Alabama, they won 13 games, spent 12.7 million on coaches. Not the top, though, right? No. So it came out to 983 thousand dollars a win, which seems like a lot of money. That's a lot of money per victory. But uh, the most we're going to start with it was the Virginia's cost per win, 3.2 million. Boy. Oh yeah. Boy, they they spent a lot of money trying to win. Let's look down at Illinois. They won three games. Spent five point three million dollars on coaches, cost him one point eight million dollars per win. Well, that's I, a lot of money to win a football game. It is, wow. but at the same time, you have to. It's for projections of the future, correct? You know, no. you, you, you can't you can't just throw money out there and. Well, you can hope that you uh, 
catch lightning in the bottle and you're getting that nine hundred thousand dollar uh, who's payroll. the lowest you have that highlight well, there, I was buddy. Say, right in here Air Force is pretty low. Well, Akron's lower. I was gonna say I didn't go to the lowest. And I want to talk about our states. The lowest. <laughs> knows. So you you absolutely did not. Well, even you do asked me a question that I wasn't ready for. I didn't go to the lowest. Who cares? Well, I, I want to talk about he's, Illinois he's and then our national Illinois. championship. But we just want to compare lowest to highest. Well, I'm gonna let you look through this. Well, I, you know, with some of the recruits that Illinois locked in for next year you gotta think next year the year after that hopefully they go down yeah. we're talking we're talking a bowl game of some kind is what we're hoping and then that that dollar per victory is going to go way down i mean what are they're they're paying 5.2 million for their coaching staff 5.2 million so we got we so we look at three, alabama what, we have like three no how many yeah i mean have? let's talk about the national championship game all right alabama pays 12.8 million dollars for coaches in. Twelve point eight million, and it cost them nine hundred eighty-four thousand okay, dollars to win. But, but what and are they making Clemson, as a school right? with? You know, oh, well, I mean, they're yeah. making well over. Well, and keep this in mind: it's He's, not just about what they're making in the school; they're also making it for the conference mm -hmm. because oh, sure. everywhere sure. they go, it's a sellout. Sure, I don't, I don't care what team they could be playing Illinois, and Illinois that stadium would be packed. Oh yeah, you know because everybody wants wants to see that team. So, so. who do you think's paying more for coaches, Alabama or Michigan? I'm gonna say Michigan. Harbaugh got. Well, I wouldn't wait a minute per victory. No, 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 just total. Total. Uh, yeah, I'll go. I'll go Michigan. I don't think that Harbaugh it wouldn't have been. Later. It wouldn't have been true until Harbaugh came. Yeah, but, Harbaugh but Michigan signed is later. Thirteen point five million, and no, Alabama's twelve eight. Good. Yeah, well, Harbaugh signed yeah. after Saban. Yeah. That's why yeah. Saban's yeah. talking about going back to the NFL. He wants that uh, contract renegotiated. Yeah. Saban needs to stay right where he's at because we've he's already had his NFL experience and it was crap. Saban's going to have to run it's a because you can't win that long without something being dirty and it's going to catch up. He needs to leave before it all catches up to the school. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's absolutely. We all know it. We're not going to hide it. We're going to talk about it on the radio. Probably some dirty football going over there in Alabama. What? Oh, you heard it right here, Joe Ryan. What? Dirty football. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. Dirty. He says. Dirty football. I don't believe. And I like words Clemson. Tide. It's coming out of that man's mouth. Who you think's going to win? Let's talk about that. Well, Alabama's going to win. I like Clemson. You're basing uh, off that QB. Can he make the plays? That's you know. I'm just just throwing this out there. I, I had high hopes for Ohio State, even though I know how young they are. Uh, Ohio State's probably going to be the favorite for next year, but Clemson took it to them. Oh yes, on both did. sides of the ball, they didn't allow much room anywhere. And uh, they they really put a whooping on that defense. So I I, I like Clemson. He likes Clemson. You're and you like Alabama. Yeah, I think Alabama. And I'm going to be the difference maker. I'm going to say Alabama. Yeah. They're just too big, too strong, too physical. Clemson may be quicker, but man, they're they're just going to take a beating up front. And that Clemson, that kid made a lot of plays. That QB, that was, it was fun hey, to watch. You always to watch, you huh? always like to go the other way. I, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's. Did that uh, start in high school sometime? I or guess when? that's what I do. You just born with it. I mean, you're I mean, born that way. I mean, it's no big deal. You I don't think so. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's. I think it all changes. You know, it's about uh, you know about fifteen or six. <laughs> okay, moving along. What? I think uh, we're done. It's ten oh one. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just saying you like going against the grain. <laughs> <laughs> you always got to be uh, different than us. Yeah, <laughs> you've always been different. You always, yeah. Uh, Always. Well, I'm not going to agree stuff. with you two jokers. You're never right. <laughs> That's true. Well, we're right about some things. <laughs> no. All right, then. Hey, then, then let's. T -t 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 Today, Junior. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't even talk about NFL. It's playoff time, man. It is playoff time. and Is the NFL still playing? Oh, hey. I thought that ended last I week. Thought we they, all know. I thought they cut the season off. Of that. Let's just do I want to know year. what you think about the Green Bay Packers, New York Giants. Oh, I have. Uh, off off air, I hear the Giants are a favorite around this. I think area. G men are so, going to the Super Bowl. So I'm going to go the Giants as well, and Jake's going to go with Green Bay. Why? Because he likes being different. Look at him. I, I, he probably thinks Miami will be Actually, Pittsburgh. I can't talk about that now because you guys both picked the Giants. I can't oh, agree with so. I can't. No, you, you, know, know, you, you don't. Packers are playing so well too. Yeah. They're 
I like Aaron Rodgers. I oh, do. my gosh. At home. Yeah, Giants are playing pretty good, though. Their defense yes, they is are. solid. Uh, they got some of the best receivers in the game. And you still got Eli Manning. He doesn't. He's a, probably one of the most underrated quarterbacks out there. Why do people pick on Eli? I don't know. He's consistent. He's Peyton Manning's brother. Yeah, but you know? yeah. who's got – well, they have both he's, have two Super Bowls, don't they? The but Manning have three? Peyton or Peyton, got one. Or no, uh, Eli, Eli, he may have three. Yeah, I mean, I, thought he had three. I think he's a gamer. My friend. We have my somebody friend. looking that up right now. Well, he better hurry up because, because it's 10 over. Hey, hey, Jim is tapping his, his foot. Like, what what he is tapping his foot. <laughs> he's, yeah, all right. Say the word. <laughs> <laughs> we usually don't have to. It's usually playing by now. <laughs> Cue that music up, white boy. Eli's had one, two. Two. Two? So they're uh, both two. Those? One, those two. Teams, yeah. But Eli... Did Manning win his second one, or did the Denver defense win Obviously, the second one? Obviously, Manning won the second one. Yeah. Did he contribute? Negative. What do you mean? Turn it up, contribute? Jim, so he can't talk over You know what I mean. All right, that's going to do it for us. Next week, the paper plate tells us that we're going to be at Castle Manor Supported Living, located at 1550 Castle Manor Drive in Lincoln, right across from Wally World. Inventory reduction at Jake's today. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Railers, full slate of basketball games today at Roy S. Anderson. We got the girls, we got the boys, we got junior Railers. Uh, we got what stuff you going on. Lots of stuff. Stuff going on. So we will be back next week from the Castle Manor. Thanks for tuning in. Good day.